Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dave, and in this video, we'll take a look at another relatively easy Putnam question. If you haven't seen my other video about another easy Putnam question, there's a link to that video in the description below. This question comes to us from the 1986 exam, and it asks us to find under what conditions the blue rectangle and the orange triangle have the same area. Without further ado, Let's get into the question. In a unit circle, inscribe a rectangle of base B and height H, and an isosceles triangle with base B as shown in the figure. For what value of H do the rectangle and the triangle have the same area? If you'd like, please stop the video and try to work this out on your own. In order to do this, we'll first mark off three points on the y-axis. Point O will be at the origin, point P will be where the top of the rectangle intersects the y-axis, and Q will be at the vertex of the isosceles triangle. Therefore, OQ is equal to 1, and OP is equal to 1 half the height of the rectangle, or H over 2. This means that PQ is equal to 1 minus H over 2, and this is the value of the height of the isosceles triangle. Therefore, the area of the triangle is A is equal to 1 half B times the quantity 1 minus H over 2. And the area of the rectangle is simply B times H. Since the problem statement told us that the areas have to be the same, we'll set the two expressions we just got to be the same value. This is going to give us 1 half b times the quantity 1 minus h over 2 is equal to b times h. As you can see, the b's will cancel out from both sides of the equation, and we're going to be left with 1 half times the quantity 1 minus h over 2 is equal to h. We'll then distribute the 1 half, and we'll have 1 half minus h over 4 is equal to h. If we move the h over 4 to the right side of the equation, we're going to have 1 half is equal to h plus h over 4, or 1 half is equal to 5 fourths h. Now we can easily solve this and get the final result, which is h is equal to 2 fifths. And this is the final solution to our equation. And that brings us to the end of the video. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.